Hey everybody, Scabber Gaming here, and I'm playing the Isle. They have added a Triceratops, a Triceratops, no, a Triceratops, that the three-horned bugger that I'm playing here. And they've also changed a couple of things in the bottom right there. You can see our stamina, food, and water bar have been added. Nice. A kill within the first 30 seconds of the video. Now, what we found is that the Triceratops is probably a little bit overpowered right now. It's rather fast, and it's uh, it's just so powerful. A couple of hits will take out anything, except maybe the big guys. We've got a car out there. Let's get some water in us. <laughs> you can see in the bottom right there my water's filling up on the new the new HUD area. I wouldn't say that the HUD is the most important part. I, I really think they start, they need to start adding a little bit more content to the game. Like stuff to do, nesting, humans maybe, progression, levels, something like that. The game's I mean, I know it's it's really early access. It's maybe the the earliest access game I've I've ever played. There's just at the moment a little bit of nothing. It's cool running around as a dinosaur, and it's it's interesting to see these new dinosaurs pop up. But um, yeah, there's not a massive amount to do yet. Other than that, I need to find myself some food. <laughs> it's still cool though, being a dinosaur. We still gallop whole trees up in one go. Those T Rexes up there, I don't know what they're up to. They're waiting for us to split up, which I've done. I also found out this weekend that um, you can only see chat from peoples of the same species. So I'm not really sure. <clears throat> it's kind of hard to make a proper mixed herbivore herd that way, I think. If you can't talk to each other. But that's cool. I do like the new skins for the Triceratops. This blue one's very pretty with the green crest on the front. If you can see it. It's really cool. It's high resolution, it's very detailed. But currently I do find that the dinosaurs kind of stick out on the landscape. You saw in my last video with the um, being the Gallimimus. You can get some really pretty areas, especially on the HQ2 test map. I'm gonna rest here. Chill out in the water. But yeah, I mean especially on the Isle Region 2 map, this one. There's very very little in the way of pretty scenery. Well, there's nothing, really, this is as good as it gets really. They need to they need to get their scenery sorted and they need to start adding in some real game mechanics. Perhaps starting off young, growing up, having a nest. That would be pretty sweet. Just wondering what that thumping sound is. Something's coming. You can see it through the trees there. My stamina's nearly up. There we go, that'll do. Now. Get 
some trotting on. There we go. Here's the four cools for the Triceratops. Big number one. Little number two. Hmm, aggressive number three. Yeah, now it's number four. It's very cool. I'm gonna walk around with the Shanta over here. Wow, I went underground. Grassless kind of cool from under here. Little footsteps. <laughs> I'm in trot at the moment. I don't want to use up my stamina if I need to get away from something. There's a lot of dead dinosaurs around today. Sounds like there's something hunting us. <laughs> oh, there's a Ferrazinosaurus over there. They're really cool. I'll do a video about one of those next, I think. They're pretty sweet. I love their colours. They've been given some love recently as well. Better animations. But I mean, I think the Triceratops is a pretty good addition. I suppose you've got to have more herbivores than carnivores at the beginning. Well, probably forever. Because when you, you get a pack of carnivores, that's fine. But you need lots of herbivores to hunt. And herbivores wouldn't travel around in big packs. It's pretty cool. There's a lot of walking in the game. Where'd that Shinto go? Yeah, let's get the T-Rex. Yeah, we got him. That's right, Brexy. You stay out. <laughs> and you see, now I'm going to run out of stamina. I'm not going to be able to keep up with the pack. The T Rexes are trying to separate us. It's not going to work. I'd make a little run. Just a little run. That's all I could do. Yeah, Triceratops is a little bit overpowered, don't take any damage, but yeah, they're pretty good. Everyone likes the blue though. There's always a favourite skin, isn't there? Where are these guys going, anyway? Where are you going, guys? <laughs> it takes a while to catch up, it's almost not worth sitting down to regen your stamina. There you go, there's the lake. That's where we're going.
the trot is just... I can't see them walking like this. I don't know why. Maybe they did. But it seems a bit wrong. <laughs> yeah! We're announcing our presence. Gallimimus is coming out to meet us. Hello, Galli. Noisy crews arriving. Loads of Triceratops here. Protect the galley at all costs. <laughs> There's a Triceratops in the tree over there. That doesn't make any sense. I'm just going to rest. <laughs> Someone said, watch out for the green shanter. That's the big one over there behind the trees. I need a little bit of food. Red versus blue, isn't it? <laughs> They're all red. We're all blue. <laughs> it just seemed to work out quite well. Did that Shantosaurus just die? Hmm. Let's go and have a look. We will attack the Shantosaurus. Let's get him. <laughs> Chasing him out. Yeah, see that's how it's done. And apparently he was picking on them, so that's what he got for it. Hey look, someone chose the boring colour for a change. Right, are there any trees around? I want to eat something. Doesn't look like there's anything edible. All these tall, thin ones aren't edible trees. Unless they're new. Can't say I've actually seen them before. No, not edible. It's a shame. Nothing really to eat round here. Although your hunger doesn't go down too quickly, so that's not too bad. That's a lot of Triceratops. You can tell he's the new guy in town, can't you? Well, guys, that was my adventures as a Triceratops today. It's good. It's a good character. I'm glad they added it. Let's just hope the next few content patches are a bit more game mechanic oriented. Hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please click like and subscribe. I'll see you in the next one. Thanks again for watching, guys. Bye-bye.